The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Most of the signs of that first Pentecost didn't last very long. As we heard in the Acts of the Apostles, the first Pentecost began with wind and flame. That was the sound of a strong driving wind that filled the house. And then tongues of flame appeared and came to rest on each of them. That's what our windows depict. And they were able to speak in different languages. The wind and the flames must not have lasted very long because there's no reports of that in the scriptures. We don't hear any reports that there was a strong wind or there were people with their heads on fire. And even the languages, the different languages they were able to speak didn't last very long. They didn't need to. As the church spread in each country, they heard the good news And they became followers of Jesus. And they continued to proclaim the good news in their own language. The church today speaks in every language. The good news is proclaimed and the Eucharist is celebrated all over the world. And people hear it and celebrate in their own language. But the sign that continues, the one sign that continues today is to speak the universal language of God's love. And that's the most important sign. The same Holy Spirit that Jesus breathed on his disciples fills us today. We have the peace of Christ. We are sent to carry to carry his love and compassion everywhere. We are to be bearers of his mercy and forgiveness. That's what the disciples did then, and that's what we're called to do today. That same Holy Spirit is with us. The God, love, God is love, and the language of God is love. We are sent out to live his love in our world today. That, lo- that language doesn't need any translation. We are sent to live his love and mercy and forgiveness. The Holy Spirit is with us in all our acts of mercy and love and f- service. And whether we realize it or not, those actions, even though they may be small, they change our world. We may not see it right now, but our world becomes more loving and kinder. That happens through us. Those are signs that the reign of God is breaking into our world. Our job today, as we celebrate Logan's baptism, is to help her grow to be someone who can speak God's message of love, who can live it out in her life, In our psalm response, we sang, Lord, send out your spirit to renew the face of the earth. The spirit is always being sent. It's constant. That spirit fills us. We are the ones that are sent to renew the face of the earth. And that's exactly what living God's love 
and mercy can do.